Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I already have most of my makeup on because I'm currently creating also an Instagram video. I will link my Instagram below so you can see. Check it out. <laughs> what I'm going to show you today is something people ask me all the time. How to contour and how to highlight. So I know there are a lot of videos out there on YouTube where people show you how to contour and highlight. But this one's a little different and more detailed so you, it helps you understand it better. So today for contouring, we're going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit Light to Medium. And I'm going to zoom you guys a little in. So guys, now that you're zoomed in, we're going to start talking contour. Two things first, you have to keep in mind. First, the, the shade. When you contour, you want to keep it in your color tones range, which means if you have a warmer undertone, you want to stick to more warm toned colors like this or this and if you have a more cooler tone skin color like me you want to stick to a more cool toned gray undertone browns because basically when you contour you don't want to bronze you just want to emphasize the shadows that you have on your skin already to make your cheekbones look more out there basically so the second thing you have to keep in mind is the brush so you have a lot of options of brush there's this brush here by sig bite by Real Techniques, it's just a contour brush, it's like rounded like this, or you can take a more angled brush like this one. Either way, both are really, really good. I believe the angled ones are easier when, you, when you're beginning because you just have to do it like this and line it, where with this one, you have to blend it better, so if you're not that good at blending yet, it's going to create streaks and you don't want that. So, after you figured out the color and you figured out the brush you want to start figuring out where you need to contour so every face shape is different if you have an oval face like mine you want to focus it here and here and you already usually have like cheekbones and then you just follow them if you have a more rounded face you don't really have cheekbones as much so you want to create a cheekbone a line going from the beginning of your nose like this going down here to your nose like this and you just want to create it yourself and usually you want to create a line here and line here to make your face look more oval shaped and also down your chin when you have a more heart shaped face you don't want to emphasize usually your chin chin so you're gonna focus here and make your forehead smaller by just uh, lowering the shadow a bit down here so depends on your face shape and then there are other things you can use contouring with you can make your nose smaller can make your lips look bigger and if you have a bigger forehead what you want to do is just go down drag the color down a bit to create the illusion of a shadow making your forehead look smaller so let's start i'm gonna take the cool tone color like i said put it on this sigma contouring uh real techniques contouring brush and you want to start As you can see, I'm just following the natural shadow of my cheekbone itself and I'm just emphasizing it and that's what you want to do. Very important, you want to build. Don't put a lot of color all at once because it's going to be harder for you to blend. So it's easier for you to just gradually add it so you can play around and blend it better. Because you don't want it to show, right? You don't want people to see that you contoured. And then you want to go on your temples right here around your hairline and also what I like to do is go around my chin down here and when you're happy with the results you're gonna do the same steps on the other side so here you can see the difference this side looks a bit sm slimmer than this side so let's fix that real quick And then what I like to do, I don't like to contour my nose properly. I might do a video next on how to contour your nose. But what I like to do is just take a little on the brush and just go down the nose like this. Like this. And that's how I usually leave it. So this is basically how you contour. Very simple, right? 
If you want, you can continue building it up and make it more edgy. So my suggestion would be if you're taking pictures, make it a bit harsher because in the pictures it doesn't show as much. But if you have an event, you don't want to be too contoured because people can tell and it would look very fake. You don't want to do that. So um, yeah, just build it up until you're happy with the results. Lastly, what I want to mention um, also things I noticed that people who have a bigger face they try to contour up to like they contour way too high to make their try to make their face look slimmer or smaller don't do that just start high and go down because people it looks weird having like a line that goes like this when your cheekbone goes down like this so if you have the case where you want to make your lift your face up a little just start up there and go down diagonally like this don't keep it straight so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video, it's a very quick chat, um, please subscribe, please like and comment what you want to see next. I'll see you guys in my next video, bye!